Everything okay up there? All right then. That's enough spittle in my face for now. I got nothing to say. It belonged to a Randolph. I have no idea why I picked this up. I've picked up this ragged old boot for uh, some reason. So you say, uh, Father Dagon and uh, Mother Hydra are our... Uh, biggest problem! They are our biggest problem! And it has never been uh, uh, clearer that uh, w w with their help, uh, we shall never... Uh... Achieve anything! We shall never achieve anything! Or no, any other uh, gods! L look around, brothers! Cast your, your eyes on the person next to you. What do you see? Well, I see a group of... Uh... Losers! A group of losers! Like I've never uh, seen before! And our uh, numbers are always uh, rising. Make no mistake, our um, uh, en en endeavor is a. Uh, uh, waste of time! Our endeavor is a waste of time! Fear us, uh, world! Take a good, uh, hard look at us, for we shall bring uh, uh, nothing but, um, um, but, um... Lemon cake and cotton candy. Lemon cake and cotton candy to your doorstep. Uh, we are uh, uh, the, the next in, in, in line uh, uh, for, um... All right, that got him a little riled up. Brothers! Brothers! Wait! It's a misunderstanding! I didn't mean... They're a bit more excited now. They're even more mad. We're getting there. A classy classic. Time seems to have stood still here in the uh, Finman house. I wonder if this relic holds any secrets. Like, say, secret passageways. Well, enough about that. This is all your fault, Bernard. It's a conspicuously empty glass just left there, all by itself. Looks like something I could and should get my hands on.
come to Papa, little glass. It's a chubby cultist, snoozing away in that comfy-looking armchair. He looks uh, snug as a bug. Adorable. I'll, I'll just lie down here for a moment. Proceed without me. I don't know what this guy's deal is. I took a long, hard look at Finman and could instantly feel my skin creep. This guy was shady, to say the least. Just being in Finman's presence made me uneasy. What a creeper. I'm frankly afraid to. Is that crazy guy outside gone, friend? Yeah, he's gone. I made sure of that. Whew. Well, I guess things are in order. Forgive me if I sound reluctant. I've just come to trust you coaches less lately. Completely understandable. We got our fair share of dummies. The kind of dummies what sucker punch you no warning. Happened recently, right where we stand, mister. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, no more respect for small businesses. Yeah, not to mention the big franchises moving in and cannibalizing us little guys. Right, cannibalism, ugh. I mean, I, I'm just trying to eat here, you know? Oh yeah, absolutely. So, uh, what can I do you for, friend? What are your thoughts on the festival? To tell you the truth, it's kind of a disappointment so far. Scrawny cultists, most of them, and always roaming the streets and don't seem to ever go to sleep in their rooms like they're supposed to. I mean, it's a festival. People hardly sleep during these things. Ugh. Oh, they don't, do they? Are there any rooms available? Ugh. They're filled to capacity. You don't seem happy about that. Well, well, let's just say business ain't been as uh, satiating as it could be. So, uh, you're full, but, uh, not really, huh? Yeah, that, that's a good way to be putting it, to be sure. Uh. Did a guy named Piavra happen to drop by your fine establishment? No offense, brother, but I'm smart enough to know I ain't supposed to be saying who's who and who ain't who, especially in these tense times, you know? Oh, I completely understand, and I appreciate the honesty. I wouldn't call the atmosphere tense exactly, more like completely insane. Oh, uh, you're just too trustworthy for me to keep my guard up, ain't you? Yeah, that's Piava passed out in the armchair over there. I meant the ugly rumors about the meal. Strange. Oh, uh, never mind. Just my big mouth get me in trouble again. The meal, huh? Yeah, I keep hearing troubles afoot. Trouble? Huh? <laughs> Aaron knew that psycho butcher was trouble from the get-go, but oh no, elders know best. Too much talk of double-crossing down the abandoned factory the last few hours, you know what I'm saying? Where there's smoke, there's fire, huh? Dagon, forgive me for talking out of school, but if that good-for-nothing meat cobbler really denies the dream of his meal, well, there just ain't no point to nothing anymore. Yeah, let's, uh, hope things aren't as, uh, bad as they seem. Cthulhu for Targon! The Dreamer. Brother, you're trustworthy and all, and I like you on a personal level, but this thing's too big for us to be yapping about. Yeah, makes sense. Sorry for insisting. For Targon. I'll be on my way. The Finman now seems to be filled to capacity. Business seems to be good during the festival. So much meat, so little time.
got myself a glass of oil. Neat. Picked up this fishing hook. Don't ask me why. I'm not sure either. Well, 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 Chief Piovra, sleeping off some booze. The nerve of walking into a fine establishment such as this one and just crashing into an armchair. Not to mention the dangers associated. Ugh. One more, damn it! It seems Chief Piovra's leathery outfit is stuck to the armchair. That seems to have loosened the armchair's grip on Piovra's rotund frame. I think I need something else there first. Sure, I can pop them out, but how do I carry them? Me? Mollusco? Huh. Mr. Confused Identity over here! Well, who are you then? Pescatori? Yep, in the flesh. Oh, good! You're finally here! I tell you, they say the worst that could have happened probably happened. I always knew we shouldn't trust that psycho with the meal. The meal? Are you serious? Oh, I see what's going on. You're questioning my clearance level, huh? Yes. Yeah, I thought so. Don't worry. These guys are hardcore, but they took a vow of silence, so... I'm level 3 clearance. I pretty much know most of it. Oh yeah? Tell me what the meal is then. May Father Dagon forgive our naivete. Is that how you pronounce that? How should I know? Pulling the wool over our eyes with talk of raising the meal, the ultimate feast for the dreamer. Damn butcher, cobbling flesh together and raising that thing in Kraken Bay, that half-goofer. It ain't natural. We talking GMOs here, or... Uh... I ain't in the mood for joking. He played us good, Pescatori. The dreamer yet hungers, brother. Yeah, yeah, Cthulhu for Dagon. Fatagan indeed. We've let him down, brother. We raised that thing for the dreamer to feast on, and now we just might have to face it. Ooh, that flesh taker and lunatic ran away with it. Oh, wow. We know that for sure? <laughs> Ain't that why you're here? To find out for sure? The elders won't let us regulars in the factory. Personally, I think he's long gone. But go ahead and find out. Thanks. Wait, wait. I got specific instructions, though. You can go in, but only in the presence of Chief Piovra. Well, this couldn't be that easy, could it? So, where's Piovra? You're asking the wrong person, Fra. He's probably out boozing himself to death like he always do, right guys? Why do I keep talking to these mooks? Ugh, drinks like a fish, that Piovra. <sighs> Alright, I'll return with Piovra. See you guys. Salute! It's a teenage girl just hanging out near that wheelbarrow. She looks like an alright kid, uh, surprisingly. 
She's sporting that somewhat angsty look they sometimes do. You don't wear that t-shirt in my house, Joey. Hey, kid. Hey yourself, you stupid cultist. You dare disrespect the cult? What cult? Um, the, uh, the fish cult. Don't you mean the order, you dum-dum? Gosh, they'll just let any mouth breather in your little Girl Scouts club. Yeah, um, we've been, uh, lowering our standards, uh, lately. And there you stand, living proof. So, how's things? What's with the wheelbarrow? What's with the wheelbarrow? Nice conversational spark up, Square. Well, you do have a wheelbarrow. Yeah, so? Can't be cool next to a wheelbarrow, cause you said so, Pops? Sheesh. A square? Me? Yeah, man, you're like... Like, square squared. Sick burn, dude. I know, right? Huh. I guess I really am a square now. Man, I used to be one of the cool kids. Yeah, don't say. Huh, <laughs> yeah, alright. I never was a cool kid. I guess I never really fit in, you know? What? Seriously? Yeah. Must be why I'm walking around in these ridiculous pajamas. Just trying to be accepted somewhere, you know? Oh, man. I... I feel you. Why are you, uh, hating on the order, though? <laughs> He's all street now. Your nomenclature's all over the place, buds. You guys are a bunch of fish brains for worshipping that imaginary tadpole dad of yours. Uh, he's alright. Yeah, right. Dream on, Pops. Can I let you in on a little secret? Wait, maybe I shouldn't. Your, your parents are probably in the esoteric order. Nah, man, they're not. My dad's a fisherman and that's it. All we do is deliver seafood to these wackos. What's the secret? Come on, tell me. In a minute, how come your dad's not in the order? I don't know, he's not into that mumbo jumbo. I mean, he's cool with the festival. Cause we get to sell a lot of fish to you loonies. Not me, I've come to hate fish. Yeah, ooh, tell me about it. But, we're depopulating these waters, man. What the hell do you people need so much fish for? You should just get as much as you need and stop making such a waste. Can't disagree with that. Look, I have no idea what all the fish are for, honest. All right, the, uh, the secret is. I can only listen to smooth 70s jazz. I know it doesn't sound as bad as it really is, but any other kind of music makes me physically sick. Pop rock makes me erupt into horrible boils, and don't get me started on that dubstep thing. Ugh, those wub wub things put me right in the hospital on more than one occasion. And mumble rap. Jesus, the mumble rap. What a da ba da da ba. None of the ba da da ba. Ba da da. Whoa, okay. That's gonna majorly suck. Is that it? Uh, no, not really. I'm not really a cultist. I'm a private investigator. I snuck in here because I'm working a case. Whoa. Are you serious? That is so cool, oh my god! Yep, it's true. Name's Don. Don Katype. Awesome, I'm Joey. Nice to meet you, Joey. Yeah, man. Joey, you think I could borrow that wheelbarrow for a minute? Oh man, I would, but I'd really avoid getting on my dad's nerves right now. You know, I want to get a tattoo or a piercing soon, something to express myself right. And he's like so against it, like all he knows and cares about is fishing stuff. Says I'm gonna be a fisherman just like he is. 
Right, I gotcha. Hmm, let me think for a minute. Hey, Joey, what if you somehow got to express yourself and keep your dad happy too? How would I do that? I've got this boot. Uh-huh. Nah, forget it. I have this fish hook. Think about it. Fish hook lip piercing. Your dad can't hate on that. It just screams fisherman. What do you say? That is so gnarly, dude. Awesome. Phew. All right, then. You think I could get that uh, wheelbarrow for a couple of minutes? Sure, dude. Knock yourself out. Man, this is going to look so sick. Woot, woot! Yeah, uh, maybe clean it a bit before sticking it in your lip. I don't think it's entirely sanitary as is. Uh-huh. Thanks, Don. Sure thing. Hey, before I go... You ever heard of someone called the Butcher? Who hasn't? But officially, I have no idea what you're talking about. There's a lot of whispers of betrayal and all kinds of crazy stuff, and everybody in the EOD is a lot more on edge than usual, but none of them are right in the head, so who knows, really? Yeah, this place is crazy, no doubt. Do you know anything about the, uh, the Dreamer. Oh, man, don't say that out loud. They don't like that. Well, paradoxically, they speak his name out loud all the time, but geez, careful. You mean Dagon? Bigger than Dagon, Broham. Much bigger. Anyway, it's just a dumb delusion like everything else the Order worships. But it keeps them popping business, so, you know. Uh-huh. What do you know about the meal? Look, man, I shouldn't either know or be telling you this, but a lot of the fish that my dad and most fishermen in town catch go straight into the meal. The fish or the meal? No, you square. The meal is what they've been raising over in Kraken Bay. Duh. Oh, oh, so uh, what is it? Don't know, don't care, and I wouldn't look too closely into it if I were you, just saying. Later, Joey. Don't blow my cover, all right? Watch your back, Donnie boy. Time to pop a cultist out of an armchair. Well... Here we are in the presence of Chief Piavra. Porca vaca! But hard to tell how present he really is, but it's him all right. Ain't no discussion about that. All right, go right ahead. And Pescatori? Yeah? Well, I'm convinced he's long gone. But if by some dark miracle you do get a hold of him, show him what the EOD does to traitors. Ooh, show him good! You betcha. See you later, Pesce. Let him through, boys! Cthulhu for Doggins!